Good afternoon. I want to thank all of you for joining us here today. We always like inviting people to visit our new building, but today is different. It's a special occasion. Today we gather here to pay tribute to the sheriffs and deputy sheriffs who have given their all in the line of duty. The idea for the Sheriff's Law Enforcement Memorial came from former FSA Executive Director Buddy Phillips. His vision was for the families, friends, and law enforcement officers who remained behind to have a place to reflect on the lives of the fallen officers, a place to heal. The artist who created this monument described it in this way. The deputies at attention show the resolve and willingness to serve in the future. The partner holding the fallen officer's hat shows the overwhelming sense of loss that one can feel for a friend. The sheriff's like gesture towards the widow and daughter's shoulder conveys the support for families that the association offers. When this monument, monument was built in 2002, there were 263 names inscribed on the wall. Ten years later, we have added 77 names. 59 of the 67 counties in Florida have at least one name on this wall. The families who have loved ones on this wall knew that the officer dedicated each day of their life to protect others. This life of uncertainty is the reason our law enforcement officers are respected. Daily, these men and women put on a uniform, a gun and a badge to enforce the laws that we as citizens deem are important to protect us all. But those tools do not always shield the officer from the criminal elements that we seek protection from. So today we stand here to honor the 340 men and women whose names are etched on a memorial because each of these officers gave their life to protect and serve. Thank you for being a part of our ceremony at the Florida Sheriff's Law Enforcement Memorial. Now I'd like to take a special moment to recognize Attorney General Pam Bondi, who will be our keynote speaker.